Welcome to the vlog, everybody. We are here actually on our third day. Yesterday was so windy. We went to the lake. It just wasn't a great day to record. You wouldn't have been out here, I think I said. In fact, I'm actually kind of worried about it right now. But I wanted to show you this awesome, awesome property because it like has a place in my heart. So my mom and her siblings, well, that's a lie. My grandparents and some of her siblings uh, found this property. And initially my mom and dad didn't go in on it. And then when my grandparents died, she inherited some shares of it and has bought a few more since. And it's so beautiful. It's in this like town of 300 people in the middle of nowhere, Idaho. And there's so many places. The beavers have gotten to it this year, so we're gonna have to clear it out. But there's so many places to camp. Lots of RV and water hookups. My in-laws here. My cousin has a little tiny house. He actually built a left right over here. Look how cute this is. This thing is like adorable. You've got the stream that we'll revisit here in a minute. Come out, we've got Derek and Bree's camper. You've got this big area over here. We only have this much mode. It goes on actually quite a bit and there's a couple tents over here. And then there's a footbridge here or the normal bridge this way. We have a little visitor. Hi, Murph. Hi. Oh, you want your belly scratched? You want your belly scratched? I'm trying to give Murph a lot of attention because we're getting close to getting a dog. I've always said for years, once we're sleeping through the night, we will get a dog. Once we don't have any debt, we'll get a dog. Once we don't, once you have your own job, we'll get a dog. And we've met our goals, and now it's about time to get a dog, and I'm trying to use Murphy to teach me if I'm really ready for that. Okay, so you come over this way, and this bridge, actually, my aunts, or my aunts, my uncles and my grandpa built. It is a strong bridge, and it passes this little stream right here. So the beavers actually showed up this year and built a dam down here, so it doesn't quite stream at this point. And it comes over this way, so because of the dam, it flooded all the way up on all of this. In years past, it's been really low and the kids have been able to wade in it. But you can wade up here, I'll show you that in a minute. We've got the cabin, it's just like a little two bedroom, one bath, family area, kitchen. It's perfect for our family. There's a hide bed and then a little loft. And the crew out here making beads and our matching shirts. Pommy, can I see your shirt? Oh, you look so cute. Who made this? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a ladybug. It matches your outfit. Did you name her? Yeah. What? BFF. BFF. <laughs> so cute. And hey, wait. This necklace, does it say? BFF. BFF. Did Ember make it for you? Yeah. You're a lucky girl, sis. JD is camping right over there. Gallon's camping. This is my aunt's little, like, she shed. We have a big fire pit that's nice because it's Far from everything, you're not even smoking the cabin. Also, you're not right by the water for the mosquitoes. And then over here we have this little foot bridge, which is really fun. It cuts over to these other campsites, but it's gorgeous. The kids can climb down into the water. And look right here. It's like the perfect little babbling stream the kids can play in. This was one of the beaver dams, and it was flooding our property, like absolutely ruining it. It was coming up as high as some of the electrical outlets. And look, all of this was flooded. I think the damage is averted. We've gotta still figure out what's going on down here. It's kind of, this is where it starts to pool and starts to get a little deeper. So we're watching the kids real carefully, but it is so fun. So it comes back over to those tents. And I think that's why Gigi's family likes it here is one, you don't have service, which stinks, but you can drive one minute and get service. But it's kind of nice because we're not all on our phones. Our kids aren't watching TV. Like it takes a couple day of be days of being uncomfortable and then you're like, this is really nice. It's shaded from the weather for the most part because it's you know down in both sides of the mountains. The sunsets are pretty, what you can see of them. It's just like perfect. You have the water, you have the cabin if you need a refrigerator. Like it just, we love it here. So I was doing my kid count. One, two, three, four. Couldn't find Palmer. Look, she's up here picking flowers and Bodhi's putting them in her hair. Is that not the sweetest thing ever? Look at you guys, what are you doing? Uh, someone broke her flower. Oh, thanks for helping her, Bode. <gasps> you look beautiful. You look so pretty. We decided we were up for an adventure, and so who doesn't want to take 15, at least kids, five-ish, 15-ish kids to go explore a cave? You pretty excited, Bubs? Love me. Palmer's a little I'm nervous. Bex, are you excited? At least we have them on these bright orange shirts so we can all find you in the dark cave, right? Do they glow in the dark? 
No. You, we should have. Yeah, that'd be cool. With the snow in June? Woohoo! Where are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going into the caves. Going into the caves? Apparently only like a, what, an hour away from where we're staying, there's these fun caves. So we're gonna go check them out. They are free to go into, which is really nice. What, what, uh, what kind of, what are they called? Paris Ice Caves. Paris, Idaho Ice Caves. And that's where we're heading right now. Oh, can you feel that coldness? It is, it's a lot colder. Can you feel here. it in here? Oh. Look at that bummer. Look how it dripped down. It's like a waterfall that's frozen. Oh, it is really cold. Does it go, oh, does it go all the way to the left there? Okay, it's getting darker. We're going down in here. Holy cow, we're deep in here now. Okay, watch your step. Step on rocks, don't step on uh, water, okay? Wow, this is pure ice. Look how pure that is. Holy cow. We did it! There. We made it all the way from out there. You gotta climb out. What? Just kidding. Hey, we're out. We did it. Do you wanna switch? Do you wanna go? What'd you think? Was that fun? That no, way. Yeah. That's Mom, Mom's way. asking you. Do you want to go or did you have fun? Yeah. She did. What'd you think? Was that cool? Yeah. It was his first time in a cave, right? right? Mm -hmm. I mean, other than uh, when, when he was little. So, first time he actually remembers a cave. Was that as cool as you thought it would be? It was better or cool? Not cool. It was better. It was better. Good. All right. Everybody's out. Everybody else is back at the car. Should we go back? Yeah. You want to hang out here? Yeah. This is Trust fun. Me. I was, I was so impressed to see them going through and just explore. It was. So fun. It was so fun. Now we're out here by the fire and it's like... Sorry, it's so dark. It is, it is dark, but <laughs> we're going to bed. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. Woo! And it's windy. So we're going to head to bed. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Ooh.